Hi, Chef from Chev's Off-Roading here. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Uh, not off-road. We got my uh, 73 Chevelle Malibu that uh, was given to me when I was really young. My dad bought it. Never, from what I understand, never really did anything with it. And then uh, my brother put one of his derby car motors in it. And he went and drag raced it and then pulled the motor back out and it sat out back at my parents' house for years, so. I was, uh, so it was supposed to be my high school car, and then I just never really had the motivation to do anything with it, and uh, my buddy just got his uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass done, so I kind of got all the motivation in the world now, so we're just going to clean it up, get it all sprayed off, and then, uh, yeah, pretty much that, just get it nice, and, or get it all cleaned up nice, and then from there we'll figure out what we're going to do. Um, as of now, I'm thinking uh, 5.3, twin turbo 5.3, and do just a junkyard build on it. So yeah, let's get this thing cleaned up and we'll go from there. So we got this engine bay cleaned up pretty well. Um, frame's all nice and black. Doesn't have much rust under here. Especially for how long it sat, I would have thought it would have been a little rusty, but not bad. Um, gotta clean the body up some more. I'll put some car wash soap on and we'll get that cleaned up. But it does have a little bit of rust here in the under the back window. You can see the holes there. But uh, I guess that's just something we'll have to live with. The, the rest of the body though isn't too bad. I mean, need some paint, dirty, but don't, don't, I haven't seen any rest holes though, so that's looking good. So we'll get the rest of this body cleaned up and then start cleaning out the interior and see how she looks after this. So, it looks a bit cleaner. Um, still not great. Probably could use a real good scrub down, but it's looking better. So we're gonna start cleaning the interior and see if we can get that cleaned up a little bit. It's uh, pretty nasty. We'll get these seats reupholstered one day and probably wouldn't hurt to get some new carpet too because it's kind of i guess it's not terrible but wouldn't hurt to get new carpet and then get rid of this nasty sticky old gm steering wheel we'll clean that up a little bit and yeah so we'll get started there i'm gonna start vacuuming and throwing all the garbage out and yeah Get some new tires on it while you do these too, because I'm sure these will go flat. Find some new rims too. I'm not too keen on these. I'll get some something from this era, but not uh, not a little rusty like that though. So yeah, we'll get to clean the interior out and see if we can get the interior looking any better. So yeah. All right, so. I'm gonna get this sticky, nasty stuff up the steering wheel to begin with. I know I'm gonna end up brushing against that. One thing I found that works pretty good for getting that stuff off is just brake cleaner. So spray it on there and just wipe it down. That'll clean it up all right. That's front's good. Need to wipe the back down a little bit more. Yeah, I remember climbing in this car when I was young and I'd grab the steering wheel and get my hands all sticky.
right, well, she cleaned up decently well. Um, that's the door panels. I should have took a before video, but it actually looks like something I wouldn't mind sitting in now. These seats are a lot cleaner than they were. These seats, these will get reupholstered. I, I'll just throw some seat covers on them for now, and then they'll get reupholstered. But yeah, no, she's looking pretty nice. Gives me a lot more motivation actually seeing this thing cleaned up. So yeah, how many miles she got on when she parked? 94,000, so probably 194,000. So yeah, so we'll find some new rims and tires for it. Maybe one day paint it. Um, She's gonna need a new windshield. Might need some patchwork on the floor. It felt a little squishy when I stepped on it. Um, so yeah. So I think that's gonna be about it for this video, just cleaning it up. Um, kinda wanting to make this a, you know, do a build series on this. So in the next video, I would like to get a motor set in it and just mocked up, motor and tranny mounted, just mocked up, and then just see it with a motor. I just want to see a motor in it. And then from there, I'll, I got to get a torque converter. I need to get a shift kit, shifter. Um, I'd like to do a cam. I got an LS6 cam that I'm thinking about running, but I also kind of want to get like a sloppy stage two or something or something like that maybe a little bit bigger so yeah something like that and then let's see what else do i need um fuel pump i need a fuel pump fuel lines I need a sump for my tank um hopefully my tank's good this car has been sitting for the last like 20 years so yeah keys the keys are around here somewhere. I don't know where they're at, but they're around. I just need to figure out where they're at. And also, when I was cleaning it, I found a time slip from when it was drag raced back in the day. And I, I don't know what's what. It was racing the quarter mile. I, let's see. June 3rd, 2007. I don't know if this was the time or if this was the time. One's 13.9 in the eighth and one's 9.8. So yeah, that was kind of cool. Found a McDonald's wrapper from 1993. Kind of cool. Old plates that were on it. Badge that needs to go back on. Part of the uh, badge that goes on the dash. Fuel cap. And then this window needs fixed too. Something screwed up inside there. And it leans sideways and it needs to be more like that. So I don't quite know what's going on there. Um, that kind of hurt. It's a little better. I'll have to take that door apart. So yeah, so that's about it for this video. Um, like I said, next video, I'd like to get a transmission dropped in that probably be two, three weeks from now, or motor and tranny dropped in. But yeah, about two, three weeks from now, I'll get some motor mounts here and we'll get some things mounted in and see how, see how we can do. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Like and if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Um, I'll try. I'm gonna try and start getting more content out. I've been kind of slacking. So yeah, if you want to see more of this car here, uh, let's get that. Let's get a better shot of that. Um, yeah, just like uh, like and subscribe. Click the bell icon or whatever, and. Uh, You'll be seeing more of this car.